I have no idea how to film this part. Hey guys, I'm Dave. Welcome back to my Datsun 280Z project car build. In today's episode, we're starting on the front end body work so that we can measure for wheels. I'm pretty nervous for today. I am not very comfortable with fiberglass work. Doing the rear quarters was my first real go at it, um, but it turned out okay, so we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Let me walk you through what I've got going on here. Um, so these service doors from the factory mounted on these clips on the bottom side to the original fenders of the car. And the fiberglass fenders I have have no provision for that. So we've got to go ahead and make some kind of mount to hold it in position. On top of that, back in 2015, Dave had a bunch of his buddies over to do a bunch of rust repair. And someone went ahead and decided to put a big old plate where the factory hinge mounts to. Not ever thinking that it might have some effect on the hood clearance. Um, so you can see here, we have a big gap. And on this side, it's practically touching the rail from front to back. Under the hood, these hinges don't have any kind of adjustment to be able to go in that direction. So 2020 Dave went ahead and bought a fiberglass hood. So this also needs to be mounted to the car and this is where we'll be starting. To mount it, I picked up these quick latches. It has a push button here and then you go ahead and push it and it pops off. There's a bunch of little detents inside uh, that are sprung and then you pop it on and then it locks it in place. I also picked up a disassembled one to help with alignment. So you can take it and basically drill your main hole and then take a Sharpie or a punch and then run it through, put a dot in it. Uh, and then it's gonna mark the center of that hole. The main challenge as I'm getting through this is making sure that everything's gonna be symmetrical. So every measurement that I'm making, I'm making sure that it's gonna be repeatable from the left side or the right side of the car. thank everyone who's been watching so far we're over 500 subscribers already this is amazing i can't believe it thank you for all your support All right, both service doors are in. Uh, they're all welded up, brackets made. Now if you go back, press the button, lifts up, drop it down, locks in place. So before I talk about the hood, uh, I just wanna talk about my thought process a little bit going into this, because I know I'm gonna get some questions why I'm trying to do the hood before I do the fenders. When I did my panel gaps, the first thing that I started with was the quarter panel. The quarter panel's not going anywhere. So where it is is where it's gonna stay. 
Um, so the first thing I did is align the doors to the quarter panel. That's gonna tell me where the front edge of the door falls for the fender. The windshield cowl only mounts in one place. That tells us that if you make enough measurements to other parts of the chassis of the car, you can get this totally square to where it fits as well as possible as it will to the shell. So similar to the quarter, we can start treating this as it's not going anywhere. From there, I aligned the service doors and then made sure that they were totally level and totally uh, straight. That tells me that this line here won't move. So as long as the body gap or the panel gap for the hood here is good and the panel gap to here on the windshield cowl is good, then I'm gonna know pretty much three sides of where this hood should fall. Onto the hood. Um, the hood, uh, I put it on just loosely. It's rough. It, I bought just a skin. There's no reinforcement to it. Um, so the flimsiness of this panel is a little bit concerning to me because I only planned on having four hood pins on it and I might need a lot more than that. I know bringing it to the corner would really help pull it down, but if you look at the assembly, it's so tall in this section and then this collar is so wide that as soon as you start to get in here, you get into the drip rail and it's just gonna cause problems. So I've gotta kind of push it out a little bit more, which I really didn't wanna do. Um, so I'm not really so sure how this is gonna work as far as trying to flatten out this, this, this warpage. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get started with just the rear pins now that I kind of know where everything needs to sit and we'll um, see if it helps it out. We'll see if we can try to straighten it out and make it a little bit better than it is. All right, let's do it. I'm using for the hood are actually from a Shelby GT500 Super Snake. I chose these because I thought they would do a really good job paying homage to the original 280Z vents in the hood. Don't turn on the lights. I don't want to fight with you. through and done a couple of these now and I think I finally got it set up to where I'm happy. Uh, everything fits nice and tightly and I think this gives me a good template for cutting the hood. I like that these protrude ever so slightly out of the hood. I think it's gonna look really good. this hood the more I realized this just was not the right hood for me it's so flimsy it would work perfect in a racing application but for mine where it's gonna be a street car it's gonna see some track time but I want to be able to take the shows and pop the hood up and use hinges on it and this just won't really let you do that <laughs> of it is starting to bother me and I can't for the life of me get those corners to sit down properly. I went through, I ordered another fiberglass hood with reinforcements. It's going to be able to bolt to the factory hinges. I'm just treating this right now as a dry run. I will use the vents. I will still use the quick latches, but otherwise this is basically a big piece of scrap. <laughs> The 
next video, we're gonna get into the engine instead. I'm done doing body work for a little bit. We gotta get an engine in this car. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'd love to hear from you in the comments and I will see you in the next episode.